Hey there, bud. What are you doing today? Mm. Trying to get my water. You want some water? It is the day before we leave for our trip. Yay! I'm so excited, kind of nervous. I don't, I am not a good flyer. Um, I don't know, it's just like one of my phobias. I know it's probably crazy to some of you, like, I enjoy flying, it's like the best thing, but I don't know, it's just one of my like biggest fears. And now we have Alden with us, so I'm hoping he's just like a good distraction and um, that, well, this is his first flight, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm currently folding. I'm getting ready to do cloth diapers. Um, if you didn't know, we, I don't know, I would say like we're 80% cloth, 20% disposable. If there's a babysitter, obviously they do disposable. Obviously on our trip that we're going on, we are going to do disposable because it's just too crazy to do cloth for as long as we're going. And the place we are going does not have um, a washer and dryer available to us. Um, so we will not be doing that. Um, but I really, th I think I want to do a cloth diaper video for you guys one day. Um, am I by no means an expert, but I've learned a lot over the past, I don't know, six months or no, no more than that. I started cloth diapering when he was four months old. So a year almost of cloth diapering. That's exciting. Um, so I was thinking about doing a video on that. We just recently stripped our diapers again and I can talk all about that in a, in a video. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know. So today we are just relaxing, enjoying our time together. And when he goes down for a nap, I'm gonna clean. Diapers all stuffed, yay! So this is our little stash of diapers. I did most of them because I was stripping them and then I actually just got three new ones. But you have to wash them like, I don't know, more than once before you can use them. So they're gonna need to get washed again. I like to watch vlogs while I cloth diaper and. Now, they've kind of been like an inspiration for our vlog. Um, my favorite vlogger, if you guys are wondering, um, vlog family is Daily Bumps. They are my absolute favorite. They're so cool. They do lots of fun activities and they're just, I don't know, I like their vlogs. I also like, um, they're actually friends of Daily Bumps called Steps to Wander. Um, they are cool because, well, they're getting ready to have a baby soon. So that's fun. And then they actually lived in a van for like months and they just like travel the world or the country I should say travel the country in this van and so they just have some really cool footage of just different places around the um around the United States and it just makes me want to like maybe own a van one day and just like travel there. Hi Tobes. Put you down so I can put my shoes What does this mean? Are you going somewhere special? <coughs> Who are you gonna go stay with during vacation? You're gonna go stay with Gaga <laughs> Oh, Alden loves Gaga. He's like, don't put me down, don't leave. He he literally like cries when she leaves after she babysits him. He waits in the window and cries. So we got Toby. I know you're gonna miss your Toby. You're gonna miss your buddy. He is gonna miss Toby a lot because he does say Toby a lot. <laughs> Toby should be good. I have Dale's hanging in my car. Okay, <laughs> hey guys. Finishing up last minute packing. We still have some other stuff to add to this, so hopefully it will not go over the weight limit and we will be good. Hey guys, we are just finishing packing the last minute stuff, but I wanted to go over what's in my carry-on bag. So this is my carry-on bag. The trips that I have flown, I've always taken this. I got this a few years ago. It's by this company called Loli. I really love this bag. Well, technically it's supposed to be suited for um, like a gym bag. And you're supposed to use like, you can put your yoga mat through here, which is really cool. But I love it for a carry-on bag because it's a perfect size and it fits a lot of stuff. What I like about this bag is it has a little already cosmetic bag in there. And this actually clips in. That actually clips into the bag. It has backpack version. Or you can actually... Um, undo this I don't know, and then you can put these down in here and then click get rid of that one and pretty much it could just be over the shoulder bag the first time I'm traveling with a baby and that brings out a whole new items that you need for a child so usually I would take up this whole space just for myself but this time I had to share it with Alden 
so that'll be fun. So let me go over my personal stuff first. Obviously, you need a cell phone. And um, I have a charger in here as well. So a cell phone and charger. And then for me, I always need gum. And I have wallet and my little, it says lotion, chapstick, um, gift cards and stuff in it. This is a cute little, this is a fountain one. I found a little wallet, but I just like to put odds and ends in my Bible. And this is where I watch all my movies on. And I have my Beats headphones, because I'm just that cool. That's all of my personal stuff that I'm taking. I'll probably also pick up a magazine, though I probably will never read it, but it's a nice thought in theory. Now on to kind of like me and all the niche stuff. So here I have a Ziploc container, and in here I have um, wipes, tissues, a first aid kit, and hand sanitizer, and also the EpiPen that we now have for Ogwin and his peanut allergy. In this bag is the wipes, containers, the diapers, and the desitin. So this is quick, easy to pick up when you need the diaper change. In this baggie, I have all of our, um, some of his snacks and stuff. I also have another snack cup for him. But we got pouches, our fruit bar, stuff for me, and his little cleanies that he really, really likes. So hopefully we can keep him entertained with lots of food on the trip. And the last few things are toys for Alden. I picked up this little car. I think you might like that. And then I also heard this was good for the plane too, but it's like one of these things where you fill this up with water and pretty much they just get to paintbrush it and all the colors come out. So that's fun. I think he'll enjoy that. We also got him a new book. Where's my belly button? And he loves flat books. So this one has lots of new flaps he can use, which is really cool. We also brought standard. He loves this flat book too. So this is a standard. Um, he really loves this Baba Black Sheep book and he likes when we sing it as well. So that's my carry-on bag. Um, let me know if I forgot anything. Well, it'll be too late because I'm going tomorrow. So that's that. And then Adam has some other extra stuff too as well. So we're just kind of tag teaming this whole like baby carry-on thing. In my carry-on bag, this is a must have for me when I'm traveling. It's actually this little red dice and when we i have i don't like flying i've said this before but when we first flew three years ago i had flown for like 10 years and then we decided to go to disney world three years ago that's when we first started our disney trips i was so nervous i just i was so nervous and we were waiting in line to board and there's this little girl in front of me and she and she must have heard me say i was nervous she was like seven or something and she's like do you want my dice like you can put all of your like worries into the dice and, or something along that is like a lucky charm or something. And I was like, that is the sweetest thing ever. And I literally held on to this and I put all my nervous energy into this and I prayed and it was like a really good flight. And I take this with me every time I travel now. So girl, whoever you are out there, if you ever watch our vlogs one day, thank you. Cause I always travel with this. We will see you at our destination. Woo, get excited, you're coming with us. Bye, cheers.